You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez, and here's a look at your top stories. A warning from Cypress police about a suspect accused of scamming elderly people out of lots of money. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely has a preview. This is Darlene here behind us. She is a resident of Los Alamitos, an 88 year old, very, very sharp senior citizen. But unfortunately, uh, she was almost scammed out of nearly $20,000. We're here today with Los Alamitos police and uh, they are warning uh, all residents of their city and uh, Southern California to be on the lookout for people who are sending emails or making phone calls asking people for um, either, um, you know, to look at their computers. They then take control of their computers technologically. And in this case, uh, Darlene went to the bank and nearly withdrew $19,200. Fortunately, an eagle-eyed uh, person inside of the bank stopped her, called police, Eventually, Los Alamitos officers arrived at her home and they set up a sting of sorts. They put a fake bag of money on her porch and waited for the scammer to come pick up the bag of money. Uh, the officer was inside the detective. There were other plainclothes officers outside. And when the uh, suspect arrived at her home, and did grab that brown bag, uh, he was then arrested. So we are uh, putting out a warning today, talking to the officers and talking to the victim about uh, how she nearly lost a great deal of money. I have more from Michelle at four. Turning now to our weather, a perfect day to head outside and enjoy the sunshine, but take advantage while you can. KCAL News meteorologist Paul Diano has a look at what's ahead in your next weather. We've got some great weather today. These are some lucky folks right there, probably tourists who are just coming here with an open schedule. Most of us, our schedules aren't open, but we can get outside and enjoy some sunshine. Just open the windows if that's the least you can do, because this is the kind of day you don't need the heater. You don't need the air conditioner. Just get some fresh air and then the air quality is pretty good today as well. 68 degrees in Santa Monica, Ontario. Yesterday you hit 80 tying January 27th is the warmest day of the year. You're going to get warmer than that today and you'll beat it again tomorrow. So today and tomorrow for the Inland Empire, your two warmest days of the calendar year. Saturday and Sunday will not qualify as the two warmest days. They wouldn't even for Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, 64 degrees on Saturday, 65 on Sunday. As of this minute, it looks like Saturday is trending to be the wetter of the two days. We may even get through Sunday mainly dry, but it's going to be breezy. It'll be raw, kind of cloudy, only in the mid 60s. So not what we have outside right now. Long Beach, You've got 75 outside right now, so you can see the difference. Lunchtime 75 today at its warmest over the weekend, mid 60s. So please enjoy today. High temperatures. Actually, these aren't highs. These are the current temperatures. They've updated again 79 in downtown Los Angeles, 82 in Simi Valley, 79 in Riverside, 81 in San Bernardino. It is warm outside, one of the warmest afternoons of the year. For many of you, it will be in a couple hours. San Fernando Valley, very comfortably in the low 80s and not much wind. Yesterday, you had some wind gusts 15 to 25 miles per hour. Today, we're not seeing that, only a 5 to 10 mile per hour breeze. Our ridge of high pressure giving us the warmer weathers on the move. Yesterday and today, the winds are wrapping around that ridge, giving us a north wind, a northeast wind offshore, cutting off the influence of the ocean. As it moves to our east, it's going to open up the door for a different wind direction. We'll begin to see that change as soon as this afternoon. Some low clouds hugging our coastline, pushing inland overnight tonight. So anywhere from about the 405 back to the beach, you'll be cloudy tomorrow morning. You'll get sunshine tomorrow afternoon, but that's the beginning of the change that's going to take away the heat. Once that ridge is completely gone, a pretty weak storm, but a storm nonetheless is going to move right over Southern California, giving us light to moderate rain at times, especially on Saturday. So there are two days in this extended forecast with a rain chance. They happen to be Saturday and Sunday. Today, tomorrow and Friday, we're dry. We'll see rain over the weekend. And of course, we dry out next week. That's the forecast. Well, Disney is cracking down on guests who unfairly cut the lines at its theme parks. Walt Disney World and Disneyland are changing their policies with visitors with disabilities. Uh, four uh, resorts, they, both resorts rather, offer a special service intended for guests with developmental disabilities like autism that make it difficult to wait in long lines. The parks say uh, anyone caught lying will face a lifetime ban and guests will be required to enroll in the program ahead of time through a virtual meeting. 
we're seeing these changes because there's a massive amount of abuse of the DAS system. People are asking for disability access when they don't really have a disability that warrants that access. Well, how bad is it? By one calculation from a theme park expert, at the most popular rides, up to 75%, that's 75% of people in line have been using the disability access system. This has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez, and we'll be back here live at 4, right here on CBS News Los Angeles.